Hello, and welcome to yet again another First Friday here on Roll20. If this is your first time, buckle up, friends, and I hope you have enough dipping sauces because we are playing Fiasco as usual, this time with the expansion In the Weeds about restaurants. I am joined as usual by some of the best of the best of the best in gaming, comics, video games, and maybe some past uh, soldiers in the uh, restaurant wars. We shall see. Uh, I will start. uh, I'll let Barbara, would you please let everyone know uh, uh, a little bit about yourself? Introduce yourself and let us know who your character will be for In the Weeds. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hi, everybody. I'm Barbara Perez Marquez. Uh, she, her pronouns. You can find me online everywhere at Mustache Babs. I'm a writer for graphic novels, comics, and fiction. And tonight I'm playing Tanya. She, her pronouns as well. She's uh, our general manager here. You're muted. <laughs> muted already. Matt, let's, let's talk about you next. Hi, everybody. I'm um, Matt uh, Fraction. I write uh, comics and TV and stuff, and you can't find me online, but you can find me at bookstores and comic bookstores. Uh, and the most recent thing that I was a part of uh, is uh, uh, the continuation of uh, the late Congressman John Lewis's memoir uh, series. It began with March. It's called Run. It came out this week, uh, uh, and I have never been more proud to be associated uh, with anything in my life. And if you would like to know more about what happened to the congressman uh, post March when he began to run for things like office. Uh, this uh, this uh, second uh, 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 sequence of graphic novels is for you. Um, and I'm playing Gray. I am a sassy and classy 66 year old retiree. Isn't dead yet? Just happy to get out of the house and mix it up with these crazy kids. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, Jody, tell us who you are and who you shall become. Hi, I'm Jody Hauser. I write uh, lots of comics, uh, mostly licensed books for things like Stranger Things and Doctor Who and Critical Role most recently. And I'm going to be playing Shelly, the franchise owner, and just trying to be the best boss ever. I love it. I love it. I'm <laughs> surrounded by wonderful people, and I definitely don't want to tear them down in game. No, uh, sorry. My name is Jen Vaughn. Uh, pronouns are she, they. Um, we are joined, as always, by uh, our producer behind the scenes, uh, Jaslyn Stone, uh, another producer, Jess, who's doing all the hard and dirty work and modding for us as well. Thank you so much. Thank you to Bully Pulpit for letting us play your wonderful game uh, created by Jason Morningstar. And uh, just so you know, anything you see us doing here today, you can do at home. Don't let this pan, don't let this panini get you down. Uh, serve it up hot and fresh with your friends. So we, we dissolve into, uh, you hear the sound of sizzling uh, fat and oil. Um, we work our asses off for not a lot of money, but there are perks, repetitive stress injuries, abuse, drug-fueled bosses and customers who don't tip. Small change can lead to big problems, though, and even if the stakes are low, the ambitions in the staff are often stupidly high. Uh, we, uh, oh, you know what? You know else is high? Me. I did not introduce who I will be playing. I am Tilly Ray. I am uh, not at all mad that Tanya uh, got the <laughs> manager position <laughs> for me. Oh, my gosh. Why would I be mad? I started a week before her. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, not at all angry. So, uh, we are in, we are in it. Uh, this game, uh, is a series of two acts, uh, with a series of scenes in them. Each of us will get to become the star, uh, thirsty starlets, ready for the camera, who get to, uh, be, uh, the star of the scene. We can either establish what the scene is, so where it is, what's taking place, or we can choose if we would like a positive or a negative outcome. So, but before we start, start our first scenes, we have a couple of cards to uh, lay out in Roll20. Uh, as you can see, thank you so much, Jess. Uh, as you can see on the Fiasco board, we have in between our pictures, we have relationship cards. These uh, are the ones that are adjacent to us refer to the relationships that these characters have. So as you can see, between Gray and Tilly Ray, uh, we are a trainer and trainee. Between Gray and Shelly, we are, they are not friends. Uh, a lazy server and one who covers the shift, so on and so forth. But we need a couple more options. We're going to need two needs, one object, and one location. So if you all want to uh, click on those little green tens above your name, 
um, players, and you can drag and drop some of the cards out. Bloop. <laughs> All right. And then we can see what we would like. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Vancouver weed, very specific. Uh, we we don't we, yeah we can uh, all agree on these two yeah and if you uh, click on it and then uh, click and drag the corner you can make it oop, large enough to read too. I can. Open. Uh, let me see if I turned off something. DM. Ooh, slippery mats near the deep fryer. Uh, we can we can keep pulling them out too. Uh, it's sort of like what you feel your character might be pulled to as well. Oh boy, this neat over here feels a lot <laughs> like. <laughs> All right, Barbara, I'm going to bug you. Yeah, go for it. Uh, let's have you pick a, a, an object out of these. All right, let's see here. We've got a garbage bag full of Vancouver weed, a special happy birthday song that everyone has to sing, Whoa. or a slippery mat <laughs> near the deep fryer. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm pulling out oh, one more, too. One more. <laughs> I can't see it. Malfunctioning POS artery system. Oh, <laughs> golly gee, which one do I want? I feel like our place, despite our wonderful owner's efforts, sometimes things happen. And the slippery mats near the deep fryer just really calls to me for an OSHA violation. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jody, do you want to pick one of our needs? We're going to get two for this game. Um, I think, uh, fitting in with the character to make everyone here a little happier for a change. Uh, yeah, that just sort of feels really what Shelly wants in our heart. Mm -hmm. I agree. That one felt very you. Okay. Uh, let's pull a, a couple more. We need some more locations. Uh, but Matt, do you want to pick out one of our other needs? I think the time tested get revenge on a customer. I think mm -hmm. that is true. And who, who among us hasn't ever wanted that <laughs> in life. So uh, uh, for all the bad decisions we're about to make, let's at least make one that people can understand how we get started. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So we, and we have three locations out back by the dumpsters. Okay. Love it. Uh, that's one. Sorry, what were we going to say? You feel free to talk at all any time. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a, good, that's a good one. Well, we had sort of, we had talked, I guess we had spoke just a little bit uh, uh, before we got started trying to imagine what kind of restaurant this is. Can we maybe set the scene and then kind of collectively build what kind of space we're in? Uh, uh, but we, we had talked about a fries only. Yes. <laughs> carnival themed, mm -hmm. franchisable a garbage dump basically yes, right yes and uh what did our great uh the owner uh what did uh shelly decide that we should all be wearing as part of our uh oh you know just some, like clown accessories it's not a whole clown costume just like the nose and the, the cute little hat you know i think it's really just gonna put a lot of smiles on a lot of faces a little oh, clown okay. clown flare clown yeah. flare yeah. little little clown play it's not like full cosplay little, little it's just clown play yeah, polka dot at best. It's a little, you know, clown bounding, as the kids would call it. Clown bounding? Okay. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> yeah, I know what, yeah, the Willy Boo in chat is loving clowns. So, okay, cool. Um, I definitely think the dumpsters could be the spot for this then. Um, yeah. To maybe, definitely. yeah, yeah. I yeah think, you can't, you're not going to have any Vancouver weed if you're not going to have some dumpsters. It's just. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, just because I got rid of Vancouver weed does not mean it cannot, it could show back up anytime. Yeah. Is, yeah, okay. So. All right. Thank you. That was so quick. All right. So we each will get to have a scene. Um, and like I said, we can either establish what we want the scene to be about and uh, who else we would like in it. Or we can, so I'm going to move these around a little bit. Okay. Or you can choose to have a positive or negative uh, 
uh, like wrap up for the entire scene for your character. And again, uh, in case this is anyone's first time watching or who's ever, never played Fiasco, uh, the coin rarely flips up for characters in case the name. Yeah, it's not called happy endings. So um, <laughs> yeah. So does anyone uh, want to have a scene that they would like to establish or anyone that wants to just go first and then we can establish for you? I'm also happy to go first too. I'll go first. Tanya, Tanya is the manager here. She is here too early and too late for her liking for most of the days. And, uh, you know, I feel like maybe trouble finds her a little easier or she thinks it finds her a little easier than the rest. All right. So you want to establish uh, a scene with Tanya. Um, and let's say, uh, so I would also have you pick out like another character you would like to be in it too. And uh, all of us, uh, because this is sort of a role play heavy game, if there are other characters that they are interacting with, you are we are free to jump in as customers, annoying children, uh, the chefs in the back who are actually doing all the hard work. So uh, yeah, feel free to jump in at any point. Um, but uh, once the scene sort of feels like it's reached a logical conclusion, we can all say, uh, anyone can say scene or cut. Uh, I often do it, but like, feel free to like, if you feel you've hit the right moment too. Uh, so, okay. So Babs, Barbara. Yes. Tanya. Do, uh, do you want to set the scene for yourself? Establish the scene? Um, sure. Yeah. I feel like Tanya's here Saturday morning. She got the early sh uh, like opening shift and somebody forgot to take the trash out last night. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Who else would you like in the scene with you? Um... I feel like maybe Tanya beat Tilly Wright to opening the locked doors, you know? Tilly Wright mm -hmm. thought she was opener today, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're... Bro okay, yeah. Um, uh, so we probably were walking up to what I can only assume is a circular tent-shaped restaurant, right? <laughs> Like Absolutely. A... <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Morning, Tanya. I see you got here first uh, again. Oh, uh, I mean, by all means, open the door if you'd like uh, to uh, do me the favor to get the, the alarm system. <laughs> oh, don't mind if I do. Tilly Ray just like jingles the key in, like her non-manager key. It's like all sh shitty and scuffed looking and like opens the door. Um, yeah, g runs over and like puts in a uh, 666 into the alarm code and like, yeah, the uh, alarms goes off. Um, yeah, how, um, wow, you look great uh, in your little uh, manager get up. You don't have to. Oh, thanks. I, I thought they didn't have. I, I thought the the stripes were a little different from the regular uh, vest with polka dots. I, I kind of almost miss it, but uh, but it does look nice to have actually uh, a vest of my size. Yeah, no, it must be uh, it must be nice. And uh, Tilly Ray's sort of like swimming in hers. It's almost like a dress, or it looks like a seventies vest. So yeah, all right, well, great, That's so good for you. Um, <laughs> um yeah. Uh, do you want to um oh i'm sorry i should be i should be doing all the stuff shouldn't i you just you know kick back right oh i mean you know don't don't let me stop you i know that uh gray was supposed to be here today but I, i'm just i'm just covering you know since it's new i just didn't want to uh you know shelly to get into too much trouble or having to come down here oh that's oh that's right we have a new trainee uh it is gray's first day um Great. Did you want to join our scene? Yeah, I was going to ask. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I've I've never seen a clown with epaulets before, but I think you pull it off, boss. Nice to uh, <laughs> nice to be here. Clearly, you're the head clown in charge. You've got epaulets. You know, they do. They uh, they take some time being used to. But uh, how how did you even get in here before <laughs> us? Did you come in through the back? Yeah, the, out back by the dumpsters, I was chasing some teens uh, uh, away. And they looked like they were up to no good. A couple of real Vancouver weed heads. Shoot them <laughs> off. That back door was wide open. So uh, uh, oh. I just followed the, followed the smell to the excitement. Yeah, it must, be all, it must be our sauce carousel that does that, you know? Uh, the dumpster, uh, by the end of the day, it's, um, it's quite ripe. It's... Uh, 
It's great. Mm-hmm. Um, hi, sorry, I'm Tilly Ray. I'll be uh, training you today. So hi, I'm I'm Gray. I'm a uh, 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 sassy and classy, 66 years old, retired, but I'm not dead. And, great. Uh, wow, and I'm I'm going to steal a line from my friend Kit. <laughs> I'm not here to make good friends. I'm here to make great friends. Wow. Okay. Um, love your energy. Don't say that to the customers, though. Okay. It's a little too much. You got okay, it. Okay. Cool. Great. Great. Oh my God. I thought it was the sauce carousel, but somebody forgot to take the trash out. Tilly Ray. Can't be me. It's my first day. It's the closing shift. It's always the closing shift. I, who was on shift? I thought <laughs> you made the schedule last time and you told uh, me you had it. Uh, <laughs> what? No. It wasn't me. I uh, Yeah, sure. I closed, but uh, I mean, I, I always take out the trash. Maybe it was from the night before. Two nights ago, three nights ago, two nights ago. I, if Shelly shows up here, it, it's gonna be on my head. Like, do you want that? Do you want do you want that on a Saturday morning before the brunch rush? I think that's right when uh, Shelly shows up. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I was gonna say I think that's 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 like the that's an end of that scene. It's like you being like you don't want to like get me in trouble, do you? And it's just like evil grins. So, but uh, Shelly, we can. Uh, this, so the next scene, uh, it can be either a continuation of this one, or it can be uh, we can time skip as well. So like not to like interrupt you right then. So yeah, if you want to show up right then, um, uh, do you want the scene to be your scene? Yeah, I'll do the scene now. I think I'll I'll give it like a couple hours. So you know y'all have sorted out how uh, Gray is getting trained, and maybe it's just post the brunch rush because you know I want to make sure I'm not coming in and taking away attention when the customers need it. You know, so uh, I show up probably a little after noon, and I am, of course, wearing the official, like, ringmaster jacket and little jaunty top hat. <laughs> but, uh, corporate has, mm-hmm. was supposed to send me a new one. This one's, like, gotten a little tight because uh, I've been eating too many of our fries. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, I still keep it nice. It's, like, my most prized possession. And uh, just just big, big old smile. Really happy to see my uh, beloved employees. Wow. Okay. Sorry, before we um, – how do we think that last scene went for Tanya? Do we think that was a, it was a sort of a positive or a negative scene for her? I think that seemed kind of negative. There was, a, yeah, a lot of stress. Yeah. Trying to assert some dominance. I'll agree with that. Matt, how do you think? You agree? Yeah, I think uh, clearly some authority uh, not being uh, respected or listened to. Uh, some uh, uh, command and control issues in the, uh, you know, who, who was closing? Whose fault was this? How did this happen? Mm-hmm. Uh, right. And clearly have hired a useless garbage person who can't show up on time for their first day. So. <laughs> or maybe you've always been there. Yeah. Okay, cool. First card of the game. Okay. Shelly, so you enter with your top hat, and we are all busy working away. Hello, you busy little bees. How is brunch? Oh, hi, Shelly. Welcome in. Welcome to the House of Fries. Oh, it's the, the best house in the whole wide world, isn't it? Absolutely. All right, sugars, I'm going to go get your order started. And the owner just walked in, so you're in for a treat. I'll be back. And, and I'm I'll, frying sugar. I've, I'm I'm now literally just frying sugar <laughs> into a deep fryer. Yeah, until he raises just like, and that is the Texas special. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, they, oh, you must be our new employee. Uh, was it Gray? Gray, that, that's right. Uh, 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 it doesn't matter if you spell it with an A or an E, as long as you're talking about me. And I'm sure oh. you're going to be the name on all of our customers' lips. Oh, are you showing them the Texas special? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Gray, uh, basically, um, every year in Texas, there is a frying competition, and whatever is the winner of that is what we um, serve as our special at brunch. So, um, you know, there's been the pickle, there's been the Oreo, there's been fried Coke, uh, and, and this year it was just fried sugar. So, you know. Uh, Great. Yeah, get those arteries going. Yeah, um, yeah, diabetes is, is on the rise. Great. It, Here we yeah, go. Um, I, and I see you're, um, you're frying it. Have you done this before? You know, once. But that was a long time ago, and I'm sure the technology is way different, even if the, the thinking behind it is still pretty much the same. Well, as I like to say, any experience is like, you know, riding a bike, and if you fall off, you remember how to get right back on it. As long as you don't fall into the grease trap, I think you'll be all right. 
Well, we don't actually allow riding bikes in here, just if they if they didn't tell you that in training. It was well covered. I, I have the pamphlets, and uh, it was well well covered there. Yeah, we do have the unicycles, but, you know, those are really only for the general manager. Yeah, and uh, uh, don't worry about the hoverboards. I'm too old for that kind of nonsense. Yes. Oh, how does it hover? Uh, leave, leave it for the, for the little kids. Yeah. Uh, Tilly Ray's uh, eyes just start glowing when she hears that the... Uh, the unicycles are only for the general managers. Oh, I had that away for later. Uh, Shelly starts. Do we have a we have another brunch customer lose their bowels in here or something? Uh, there's a little bit of a fragrance that's not quite uh, oh. up to to to, to how surprise standards. You know, is that just me? Am I? Can y'all smell? Well, you know, er, uh, uh, I I there's a. They asked me to drain the grease trap, and I didn't realize there has to be a listen. I pulled the wrong lever, and some of uh, uh, some some of the oil uh, grease got all out on the uh, on the mats over here by the deep fryer. So you might be smelling a little burnt rubber uh, from when the, the boiling grease uh, uh, shot out. Oh, okay. uh, well, but, that's no. I, I just lean over and turn the mat over so the greasy side is against the floor. Grease, oh, grease, oh, grease side oh, down. Fine. Got it, boss. <laughs> It's a, it's a, we're safety first here. I, I am so sorry about that, uh, Shelly. Um, I, I know uh, a, a good general manager would have caught a slip up like that uh, with a. Hey, slip up. Ding, 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 ding. And, and I'm at the, like the little window. It's like, Tilly Ray, I'm still waiting on those orders for table six. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm on it. Uh, and she goes over and she makes like two servings of uh, animal fries and then grab some of the fried sugar. And then um, of course they have churros too. So just pops those into um, it's just like, uh, it's, it's great how we have um, this uh, franchise is attached also to the hospital too, right by the cardiac wing. So anyway, no, it's yeah, well, they're, they're actually one of our biggest customers. It's just lovely. Ain't it? I kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they always laugh at like we can always fix each other. <laughs> you know, like when they they order, it's kind of terrifying. Um she she gets the the orders uh and, and comes up uh table 6 you said? That's right. Okay, thank you. It's right over there. Okay. They've been waiting. All okay. right. Bye-bye. Bye. Love you. What? Um <laughs> she walks Oh, away. that's I turn. I turned to great. You see, it's just one big happy family here. It's all smiles. It's all helping each other, and we're just so glad to have you as part of our family now. And uh, just, just so excited to see your smiling face, you know, out there and serving those people and giving them the the fry of their lives, as I like to say. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, well, how do we think Shelly's seen it? <laughs> positive, positive or negative? I mean, I feel like Shelly's missing the point, right? Like, I'd say that's <laughs> negative. Yeah, I, that's, what's, right. what's really happening here? <laughs> okay, we could do, I, I, I was feeling honestly a little positive, because I feel like, you know, she's trying to make a good impression on, uh, on, on young, no, sorry, new gray. Uh, uh, shiny gray. I don't. What do you What do you think, Matt? It's not a big. Uh, deal, yeah, right? no. It, it sounded like a delusional. Okay. Like I think Shelley would say it was positive, and everyone else be like, yeah. "Oh okay. my All god, right. there's someone. Someone's gonna die here." <laughs> yeah, I totally. And not, and not, and not of not of cholesterol. Someone's gonna end up in a. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I, I think. Fuck off the OSHA violation. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's another negative card. Uh, just so you know that we only have so many negative cards. At some point, we have to start doing those positives too. There's a little, little numbers game over here. Okay. Great. Do you have uh, a scene that you would like to, or would you like us to come up? That's the other thing is like you can entrust a scene to us that we establish, but you can let us know if you'd like it to go positively or negatively. Uh. uh hmm. I can also well, jump into. Well, how about this? If, if if we've done two negatives, let's aim for a positive, and my uh, the, sort of the need of getting revenge on a customer, uh, the idea of Gray having a having a bad day, uh, having his first kind of bad customer experience, and and I don't know, maybe this is where the trainer trainee uh, relationship mm-hmm. comes in. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know, but uh, 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 I just had the meanest customer I've ever had in my entire career. <laughs> 
Well, uh, well, first of all, lasted for three and a half hours. First of all, Gray, I should have been there with you. I'm sorry, I'm off doing some other stuff. We're Uh, so rude. It's unbelievable. What did they? uh, What did? Were they three and a half hours? They. I'm. I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's about. I've been here three and a half hours at this point, so I'm speaking about a career. Like I've had the worst day. Uh, (laughs) uh, 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 They. They brought their own things to fry. Oh, oh no, no! This is not a BYOF. They um, wanted me to fry broccoli. Gross. They wanted me to fry scallops. I hate it. <laughs> Actually, uh, they wanted me to, to to to. They wanted to if if they if we could fry mellow yellow. They only had a two liter bottle, so it was plastic. I tried to explain; it wouldn't turn out well. Uh, well, uh, well they know, wanted I, me to fry a bullet. <laughs> they wanted me to fry their work. car keys. Uh oh. They wanted. Yeah, it was it was insane. And when I suggested that they were going to have to pay extra for this, they got very abusive. All right. All right. Are they um Are they still sitting uh in your section, Gray? Somebody want to somebody want to be an angry uh, fry my bullets customer, or are we going to hear a gun? Who who's who who's yeah. doing it? Yeah, we, we could be the two people at that table. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. they're they're the uh uh. The, wildly the, unhealthy sweating couple just, just, just the, the scowling couple right yeah the scowling, the scowling. Yes, 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 yes. yeah, yeah. Scowling okay. all right all right um here okay uh so you didn't take any order just to be clear right oh no i fried all of it i'm sorry I what you fried all of it as the customer is always right this is what uh, uh abs has taught me <laughs> this is what we're is supposed the to bullet, is the shell still or, in uh, the uh, fryer uh, 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 <laughs> yeah no listen it was uh 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 Sure. Well, yeah. What? Why should I not do that? Is that bad? I didn't think it was. Come on. What's it? Wasn't. It's fine. I mean. I mean. Uh. Uh. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll be right back. And like Tilly Ray runs to the fryer because extreme heat with an active <laughs> shell. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> she's like searching for it uh uh chat should she find it she's just like okay found the car keys on oh, sound all right uh it's just, it's just, I, I, but like i don't know if you've ever you know, worked at deep fryer there's just like nuggets in it i don't know uh, it could be a bullet in there i don't know maybe yeah, it's a yeah. finger I'm just, <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be a fit you know wait a minute wait a minute till he looks around gray you never put any of this in here okay oh okay i sure did but okay all right. All right. And she solemnly leads Gray away back to the, the table uh, where they uh, <laughs> uh, go up to the couple. Um, hello. Uh, um, this is Gray's first day. Uh, so uh, it sounds like we're uh, making a lot of a lot of fun stuff for you in the back. Mm-hmm. Um, some of it uh, is going to be a little bit. Um, I just I just heard. Is there anything we can do for you? Because it is going to be expensive. We don't have to leave it in there if you don't want to. I mean, the bullet's so small. I didn't think it would be a problem. Yeah. It's only a 22. I didn't. And your menu says that I get to choose three sauces per item. So I I don't know. Bullet sauce. I don't know where the hold up there is because I haven't seen any sauces. Oh, 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 see, um, again, sorry, this gray, this might, it's gray's first day. He's doing really well. Like we have. And um, his last, maybe. Okay. Now, don't clown do around with me. Uh, he's doing great. There's actually a carousel uh, and a Ferris wheel of sauces. You see it over there? See, but I'm afraid of heights, so. Oh, I mean, it's a, sorry, it's human size. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm afraid of heights and just even reaching oh. into the top. It gives okay. me, like, flashbacks to the time that I got stuck on a Ferris wheel, and I just, I can't deal with that. Yeah, I'm afraid of widths. I, I can't do platform Lazy Susan service. My previous fast food job was uh, all just called Lazen. And if everything was on a slow moving carousel, terrified. <laughs> yeah, yeah you those, those revolving restaurants. Okay. Um, well, why don't you tell me what you want and I'll go get all your sauces. Well, I'd like I'd like the deep fried bullet with all the spicy sauces. I thought that would be real obvious. Yeah. And like maybe we'll just get it to go. Like if, if you got if you got a busy whatever for service here, I'll just take it to go because that'll be faster, obviously. But then we'll obviously need extra sauces because, you know, yeah. the, the, we have to take them home. And napkins. We'll take some napkins. It, it, oh, course. and like, like a couple extra forks, you know, because we're going to share it with, you know, the kids. 
Yeah, yeah, of course. And you want you want all the spicy sauces. Yes. So that's the Reaper sauce. That's the pepper sauce. Mm-hmm. That's the creeper sauce. Uh, East Spencer pink. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 Blue Ricky. You want orange Ricky. Uh, 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 Tee Smash You're Boy. Almost. You want, want some hero Smash sauce. Boy. You're going to need that hero mm-hmm. sauce. Yeah, can you, can you yeah, mix forgot. the Rickies together, though? Because I think they taste good. Blue Ricky and orange Ricky mixed together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, brown Ricky? Okay. Brown Ricky. Um, <laughs> and a side uh, of ranch. Oh, yeah. I, I oh, ooh. We are out of ranch. How, how can you be out of ranch? It's ranch. Uh, you know, we do have the, uh, we have a new sauce that we're trying out. It's called Burning Man's Hole, and it's the spiciest. Oh, yeah, that'll go oh, good. Okay. Yeah, we'll yeah, take we, that. And don't, don't give me no blue cheese. That, I don't want that. Well, yeah, we, I, we, I'll, we do I'll still have, cheese, yeah. We do Just still have French. We still have French dressing, which is the French dressing with ranch mixed in, <laughs> if you enjoy. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, that feels like a great scene to end. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying That's to it. end it on one of our beautiful, beautiful names. Good job, Matt. Uh, how do we think that scene went for Gray? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to put out there. It feels like it went positive because he connected with the customers. Yeah. Yeah. In the in the end. And, but, and he successfully listed all the spicy sauces. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like made it through the. T- yeah, okay, all right. Uh, like like a half of those, you know, the the te- the shapes in Tetris have names. Those were just the Tetris names. Oh, there you go. So I've been convinced that's gonna a uh, 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 slumdog millionaire me at some point in life. My ability <laughs> to retain the names of the Tetris <laughs> shapes. So I went for it here. Nice. All right. Good. There's video proof now. You're good. <laughs> you can show this to your kids later. Um, I can't yeah. remember your names, but I remember the names <laughs> of the shapes <laughs> from Tetris. Funny. It was a game a long time ago. Oh, please. Uh, there'll be like Tetris buildings by then. Like you can move your home around into any. Yeah. So, oops. Okay. So, uh, it is my turn. Um, I think that I would like to establish that the bullet. Um, by some properties, if you will, um, let's see, I can't recall that. Okay, uh, that the bullet go uh, explodes in the fryer. How did uh, that happen? <laughs> yeah. Um, and what the, the hell? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, yeah, it's good. Obviously, Gray's going to be there, but uh, uh, yeah, she wants to sort of implicate uh, Tanya uh, uh, <laughs> if she can. And Tanya has definitely been sitting like behind the register, even though there are servers in this restaurant. So there is nobody really going up to pay their bills unless it's like to go. So she's like definitely of, not of, been of, doing anything for the last hour. I like the idea of a fast food place, but it's also a sit down and be served place. So there's mm-hmm. just some ambiguity as to mm-hmm. where do I put my order in? Do I sit and does someone come up or do I yeah. go? There's we also a, a host. Classy. Yeah, yeah. Do we also sell the sauces up front? Is this kind of like a diner situation too, where they sell everything they do? A hundred percent. I think so. Yeah, we have we have a fry fry at home kit. Oh God. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's we gotta talk about that. Okay. All right. Um, well, not for anything. Listen, I don't want to tell you guys how to live your lives, but you know, we got an air fryer during this pandemic, and oh my God, you should you should totally. That's totally worth it. It's a terrible idea, but it's a great idea. <laughs> you're like oh. the third person that told me that an air fryer has been life changing so i feel like now i'm just gonna have to buy it too <laughs> the, the 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 thing like the good news is like you're suddenly with well, all the kind of you know fried food you try to make in an oven that suck uh, now you're like oh wow no hot pockets are really good if you put them in an air fryer but now you have hot pockets in your life <laughs> i mean my had a friend that used theirs to make a blooming onion so and it was great so so we should yeah okay this game is making me so hungry (laughs) i'm sorry i should have ordered food for everyone to come during the show next time i'm sorry uh yeah we're making chat hungry okay uh bullet goes off uh man i wish it was a game where i could roll dice and choose if any um but we're just gonna say it hits uh the leg of a customer uh just just a little graze uh, but now we have a, a yeah, so, yeah. 
Uh, but now we have like a, a fryer that's out of commission too, because it's like uh, leaking oil. And uh, yeah, so uh, Taylor Ray's just like, uh, was standing, I was standing right next to you, or no, I was in the kitchen <laughs> bagging stuff, I guess. May I pitch, may I, may I, uh, may I pitch actually that it, um, that it, that it hit Shelly? <laughs> because I would love, I would love to see Shelly power through a bullet wound. Not like I think, I think, and then also it might, we just wrench that tension up between, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, between, between yeah. Tanya and Shelly. Shelly, is that okay? Just double checking. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. It's only okay. a 22, we said. A flesh wound. A flesh. Uh, like a, like a, like when, like when Werner Herzog got shot in that interview, like your interview wouldn't stop, but mm-hmm. you, you now need medical attention because yeah, yeah. that is a sauce. You're, you're depositing a sauce we are not allowed to, to have. OSHA yeah, has we're, very strict requirements. We'll say it's like sauce. in your hand too. So it's something you need to gesture and point at and like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's in my hand. Okay. Uh, no, your clown nose. It hits your clown nose. It's, oh. <laughs> it doesn't even hit actual body. Yeah, it just, it just destroys clown okay, nose. Okay, okay, okay. All right, perfect, perfect. Okay. Um, uh, I did it break my real nose or is my nose? Okay? Yeah, no, I think, I think a clown with like a Jake Giddies nose tape uh, I think there's something disturbing about a clown with a busted yeah. nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So well, we, everybody. We all hear somebody scream and start running around Ow! looking. Well, who, who was that? Uh, that, that? That was me. Shelly? Oh my God. The oh. f- deep fryer sprung a leak. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> just screaming. Yeah, and this is now just one hole out of a Wait, deep fryer propelling. Never, no, Greg, don't use your fingers. No, no, ah, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, we got duct tape for that. It's in the back. Um, yeah, yeah, put a plastic well, bag over it too. Oh my god! Everybody, go find that customer. See if they have more bullets. <laughs> it's just perfect size to plug this <laughs> hole. <laughs> uh, Tilly Ray's got her hands on Chili's shoulders. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Uh, the, uh, uh, three, two. Uh, four, oh my god! It's melting seven. right through the little carnival playset. <laughs> uh, I. I I think I think she sort of pulls off uh, pulls off your nose, Shelly. Oh yeah, I got your nose. I have, oh, <laughs> you, you, Tiny. I always love your sense of humor. I'm not sure this is the best time for that, but I appreciate you trying a whole. Oh, lot. something smells delicious. I think it's me. <laughs> oh my god, um, uh, Gray, Gray, you doing okay there? Um, it hurts a lot. Copious amounts of blood. Do you can someone grab me like a napkin or? I think or I think I, think oh, I, sort of I have a rag. Everything. And it's the rag on like my little aprons. So, like here I you go. I'm it, stuffing it up my nose. Oh, that smells quite nice. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's a the the my nose we can deal with. That that's whatever. But that fryer, uh, we need to have all our fryers in commission, working so that you know our customers don't have to wait too long for their fries because you know they start losing their little fry smiles and we all just have a have a have a oily bad day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if I I'm calling. Stuff. I'm calling Louise now. He'll he'll come fix it. Yeah, just right. like, again, clap the duct tape on for now. That should hold it for you know. Last well, time yeah, I what's that? What's the boat tape? What's the you know on the infomercials? You know, if you slap it on the okay, side I of the was, boat. I was like, sorry, Matt. We're, we don't have boats. We're not boat people here. We're. <laughs> I don't know. It's a you know, the commercial, like you can cut, cut a boat in half and tape it together, <laughs> like it's that. But for you know, gre- deep fires and shit. What about boat tape? Yeah, yeah it's boat tape. Boat, Great, boat. I got boat tape. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah like for, yeah for the duck boats in Boston. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. Tape. Um, ooh, ooh, great. I don't think that finger is gonna make it. And she's sort of like pointing at your pinky or whichever finger you were. It's oh, fine. That's- um, <laughs> that's a weird, that's, weird skeleton finger now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, Craig, Craig, your commitment to your job on your first day is just really, really inspired to me. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's out. That, that might be broken. I uh, took this job so I could feel things again. I did it like this. <laughs> Tanya like taps Tilly, right? It's like, Tilly, as your trainee, you have to make sure that the report that Gray has to file is the Z75 form. Not the C seventy five six form, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know because one is for uh, this was a non lethal injury. I know, I know. Yeah, okay. So just want to make sure, Shelly. I, I, you know, I have uh-huh. all the forms in the break room, so you can go get those for Gray. And Shelly, can I get you anything? Can I get you a spritzer? A spritzer, some as uh, 
uh, you know, I, you know, like when you're congested and you eat the spicy sauces. Yeah. I think that maybe that'll help. Just oh, we got we have Carolina pain. Reaper. <laughs> we have Ghost Pepper. We've got the Blue Ricky. We've got Orange Ricky. Oh, We've got Smash Boy. You were my favorite, Gray. She, she knows. She made him up. So she's our that sauce feels, queen. That, that feels like I, a place I, have, I have the sauce queen. Um, I'm, again, I'm, I, I'm so sorry, Jody. I don't know who possibly. Uh, what, Tanya, where were you when this happened? We were helping out some people in their very extremely saucy order. Oh, I was, uh, and and she she's well. I, I was checking on the on Louisa's uh, ETA just no, no. now. No, no. What were you doing prior to this? Well, I was counting the stock of the sauces. We need to do some more bottling, so I was counting those in the front. <laughs> bottling, <laughs> it's bags like sauce sacks that you have yeah, to bottle. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not cut out. Maybe I should just go lug some saw sacks in from the 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 out back by the dumpsters. I don't think I should work the deep fryer anymore today. No, yeah, well, yeah. Again, don't ever <laughs> use your body for things you could put a piece of wood or duct tape over. So, yeah, and, and Gray, just find what find the job here that speaks to your heart because that's what it's all about. It's about just filling up your heart with oil and sauce, sauce. and fried love, fried love, and. <laughs> That feels like a good time to end Tilly Ray scene. I, I I did like once almost blast my face off because I pulled the wrong deep fry. Like the like the, I literally pulled the valve that would have shot the sauce out at my face. Oh my gosh. Oh my they're, they're like there there was like two oh. things. They're like yeah, just just pull the lever and it'll drain the thing. And I there's two levers to choose from, and I picked the wrong one, and it made this like <laughs> and. <laughs> And and I was looking at this nozzle just like right here, right? and I heard this. And, I, and as I start to realize, gosh, that sounds a lot like gurgling oil about to come blasting out at me. Sort of hit the lever to shut the valve and leap back in time for just a like a like a to blast out everywhere and 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 not destroy me. I just so this is I, I, what I'm saying is if you if you're detecting uh, authenticity to my performance tonight, it's because yes, I really am a dumbass with a deep fryer. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the fry basket straight out of the oil on my hand when I worked at Burger King as a kid. So uh, luckily, it was a very small contact point, but that that hurt a whole lot. All right, well, my turn. Yeah, uh, I used to work at a movie theater, and when we had to hand roll the uh, waffle cones. Uh, your options were either to wear plastic gloves and the plastic would slowly burn to your fingers or just do it with your hands and just burn your fingers. So obviously just burn your fingers. Yeah, options. Yeah. Plastic poison or just burning your fingers. I'm, what kind of art what kind of movie theaters are artisanally rolling? We individually roll every waffle coat. Cinemark friggin' Tinseltown. Like <laughs> wow. well, you, you did smell like cookies for like the next two days, but maybe it was the burns too. Yeah. It, it cook cookies and bacon, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cookie hands. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we now all get another set of scenes, uh, and then we get to. Um, oh, I'm sorry. How do we think that ended up for uh, Tilly Ray? I feel like I know, but I think that was pretty positive because uh, she sort of got to start pushing the blame on yeah. her uh, more mortal restaurant enemy, and also like seized uh, command and control, you know, and sort of. Uh, uh, took it. Yeah, no, very, very felt. Yeah, I think disastrous for everyone else. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Great. Okay. Does um, uh, who wants to be uh, who wants to be the star of the next scene? And again, we can also time jump. Like we could add in some other elements, uh, or we can stay where we are. It's a, uh, it's, it's perfectly up to you all. We could actually change. We could be outside the restaurant doing like a new event. I also have an idea, but uh. Hmm. And this is still first act, right? The the, the we... yeah, yeah, this is still the first first act. Okay. Yeah. So okay, so we've set up the customers that demand you fry their car keys and their bullets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have <laughs> we have we have a we have a, a wounded uh, we have uh, someone who's now been shot by a yeah. bullet coming out of a deep fryer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Just a flesh wound though, or a foam yeah. wound. But... You know, but I think spiritually, it's a far deeper wound. Oh, I think that forever, that nose yeah. was it was a deep symbol. Mm-hmm. I was trying to, trying to think where 
Like, what are we kind of missing? What are we sort of... So, yeah, I remember that Tanya wanted to build her own franchise. Mm -hmm. Right. So it could be either, like, Luis coming to fix the fryer so we can get back, like, and us trying to deal with, like, taking orders with a one less fryer. Or it could be corporates come out. It's the same day, just later in the afternoon. And they're coming to, like, investigate. Maybe there's been a three and a half star Yelp review. And corporate (laughs) is because based on this incident that the cranky couple have filed a three and a half star review and corporate has come to get to the bottom of it. I like the idea that this old fry restaurant is like, that's, that's two, like, it's not two and a half. It's three and a half. It's like the level. Yeah. All right. Well, we're a five star facility here. So Mm -hmm. how do we want that? that, That'll put kind of, that'll put. Shelly and Tanya and uh, maybe this, you know, uh, this is a kind of Shelly versus Tanya scene where, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, do you want to be corporate? Yeah, I'll be, let me, yeah, let me, let me, let me be the voice of corporate. Um, <laughs> okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Um, cool. All right. So, yep. Uh, Tanya or Shelly, do you, who would like the scene to be theirs? I can make it my scene since I'm the one who got shot. <laughs> okay, cool. We've already, we pretty much already established it though. So I think you would get to choose if you want it to end negatively or positively for your character. Um, uh, the last one ended negatively. So I think I could, I think I'd like to see positive, you know? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. I forget. Uh, did we did we land on a name of what this nightmare factory is called? It was House House of Fries, but shouldn't it be like Tent of Fries? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Just fries. Just fries. Fry rings. Blurbles. Blurbles. <laughs> yeah, just a, yeah. Yeah. Or or, or blurblin. Blurblin. Mm. Blurblins. Blurblins with blurblins and with fixins. Yeah. Okay. Sauce, rising <laughs> sauce. The big top. I don't oh, think. Very nice I, uh, all right, uh, uh, and this is Shelly and Tanya, right? right. Yeah, uh, my nose has since been uh, bandaged. It has stopped bleeding, uh, but I am carrying around my like wounded clown nose very sadly. It was very. I like the idea of like your your clown is now looking like an apricot, like it's got the scar of where it was clearly punctured, but you have repaired it. You're like. Use, use some of that boat tape. No, yeah, boat, or just boat taped a new nose to your face. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, if you want a new one, we have a couple extras for like newbies, and and we have the kids' uh, clown noses too from the event. I've one. actually come down from corporate. Uh, well, there's a lot of business to take care of, but first off, uh, Shelly. Yes. As you know, for line workers injured in the service in the in the in the in, in their uh in the call of duty <laughs> and they're injured in the line of service <laughs> to uh blur blur blends and sauces we have uh uh, uh this special token uh, the golden nose uh, uh uh it's the highest uh, uh fry line employee honor that we can bestow on minimum wage employees of blur blend and sauces uh thank you for your service thank you for taking one for the team and for the family, and don't think that it's not been noticed, recognized, respected, recorded, and uh, 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 denied entirely by our legal department, uh, uh, by the folks, uh, folks at folks at corporate. Thank you. And so you now have a giant <laughs> golden clown nose. I just but think with, it, also with epaulets. Uh, it, I just look at it. This is this is just about the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This is, I think, the greatest honor of my life. Um, this is everything I wanted from this franchise location. And I, I take off the, you serve me well. Now, when, a lot news. when my great grandfather, Angus Blurblin came to this country and met his long term life partner, uh, 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 <laughs> McIntyre sauce. Yep. Sauce. Right. And they decided <laughs> to start become more than business partners, but life partners. Uh, 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 certain things were set in stone into the DNA, if you will, of what would become not just our our restaurant, but we like to think of it as as our family. One of the things is any review less than four stars is fucking unacceptable. I did use my F word. That's my one F bomb. I have now used it. I've recorded that. (laughs) I will not be using F bombs again. Sorry to meta game for a moment. That was a conscious... (laughs) Cognizant no. choice on my part that it. was not an accident. Usually, so I say is, it's like an taking notes behind one of the the tent pillars, just like. 
So we've uh, on uh, the app, <laughs> on, our, on, our app on the app's app, uh, we've received a three and a half. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to do this. <laughs> a three and a half. Oh, my gosh. Star. That <laughs> I, oh, my. That is unacceptable. What no. the no. hell is going on in this goddamn clown car of a circus themed appetizers and <laughs> sauce centric franchise restaurant well uh we we had a misfunctioning prior sir that's how this nose uh you know got all busted uh not the nice one you gave me the other one uh yeah it seems like our fryer actually tried to shoot someone uh then just hit me i don't know who it was actually aiming for but you know, obviously. I'm sorry. Do you mean the person working the deep fryer, or do you mean the deep fryer itself somehow attained not only sentience but a projectile weapon that it aimed at your face? And the 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 fryer itself, sir. Uh, this actually, machine, it, this deep frying machine. Yeah, it actually might have been trying to take its own life based on the damage to it. No. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's just a huge tragedy. Look, we we patched it. With the tape right now. We've actually fixed it. Tonya, well, mental health cannot be patched with a tape. With no, the ma'am, boat. ma'am, we've fixed it. Luis has been has been oh, here. Yeah. He he's fixed it, sir. So so actually, don't blend Shelly. Um, with the tape right now. We've actually fixed it. Tonya, ma'am, mental health ma'am. cannot be patched with a tape. With no, ma'am, boat. ma'am, we've fixed it. Luis has been has been oh, here. Yeah. He he's fixed it, sir. So so actually, don't blend Shelly. Um, she she took one for the team. That's right. And uh, I must say that it was it was a valiant effort. And that how can as, you allow a piece of equipment to become suicidally depressed on your watch? You're you're more than just a manager and an owner. You're both of you have responsibilities to your family I know, how could this I, have happened i i would take a bullet from my family any day and today is the day i did that you, you absolutely did that and there won't be any more we we I, I will have a stern talking with the with the friar right right shelly we can we can address yes. the team tonight before close but not and you don't want to push the we'll friar into a deeper state of despair no i think i mean i think we should really bring in a therapist I think that would be a good. fryer therapist. Like fryer a, therapist. This is Louise. This is, this is Louise, right? Oh, does he, does he also have experience in fryer therapy? I'm asking. I Tanya? don't know. I don't know, ma'am. I'm, Tanya, you should. Can you look into that? Yeah, I him? will absolutely. I'm I'm gonna get him on the phone now. Thank you. Uh, and I know I know you're worried about the customers' review, sir. But I feel like the well-being of our equipment and our staff is tantamount to that, so I feel like if we fix the root of the problem, we will fix uh, the cause of any slight minimal discomfort that any customers of ours ever have to go through. I think I speak for all of us at corporate when I say we don't give a shit about the customers. We give a shit about our family. We give a shit about our employees. And of course, all of the equipment which we have imbued with sentience and consciousness and souls. What we care about from our customers, first off, is their money. Second, that they don't die on the premises of our ER products. Third, that they give us that sweet, sweet four star and up reviews online. Clout, cred, call it what you will. We need it, we want it. What are you doing actively, proactively to turn this? From a from a three and a half star <laughs> franchise to a four star and up franchise. Tell me what you're doing. What's the plan? What's the future? What's the vision? Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to make sure that our franchise private detective tracks down the customers who left that review and uh, just uh, delivers them a, a lovely package of sauce. I believe they specifically enjoyed the spicy sauces, so we're just going to send them a lovely... Did you give them the Carolina food. Reaper? Carolina Reeper, yes. We gave Did you them give them the pepper sauce? Did you give them the ghost pepper yeah. sauce? Yes. Did you give them the blue ricky sauce? Yes. Give them orange ricky sauce? 
Yes, they, they actually have, they have the Rickies yeah. mixed together. Oh, the brown Rickies. Interesting. Brown Those Rickies, are spice yeah. aficionados. Interesting. These are people mm-hmm. I would relate to. So I feel like just showing that uh, oh. we take their negative criticism and turn it into a positive for them will make them happy. And maybe they will bump up that little uh, review, you know, at least half a star. Might I also suggest putting a cease and desist letter at the bottom of the sauces? So they have it. They've touched it. It's in their ownership. And then they'll know they, they won't be allowed to speak of this restaurant in public ever again. See, that is why you are corporate. And I am just uh, running this, this lovely here three ring circus. <laughs> it, and it, we're going to make it a four ring circus. We're going to make it four. Mm-hmm. Four ring circus. Four, sir. That feels like a great place to end that scene. Uh, four, rings. four rings, four stars. I love it. It's four great. rings, four stars. Did we just establish that Louise is not only... Just sorry, so I know moving forward, because I feel like now we should bring Louise in. <laughs> Louise is not only a mechanic, but also a uh, appliance. A little, zen the, a, little, and, a little zen in the art of motorcycle maintenance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But also a psychic detective, possibly? Is that what I'm feeling? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can do so. It, it makes sense to have that all be one person. Yeah, they all, all be one person, yeah. Yeah, okay. he, he took a counseling class online. Online. At yeah. Phoenix, yeah. Or whatever. What was, okay. the, what was the Lionel Hutz line from uh, The Simpsons? Uh, I'm not really a lawyer, but I watched a Matlock in a bar last night. The sound was down, but I think I got the gist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. So good. Okay. Uh, great scene, Shelly. Um, does someone have something they'd like to do next? Uh, we could keep management here, our corporate, excuse me, or we could uh, shoo them out. Uh, Bar- uh, Barbara, do you feel like you got enough time with uh, corporate? Because I know you're looking to open up a franchise. Yeah, I feel like there could be like a little scene afterwards where Tanya's like, Mr. Corporate, sir, like, can we talk about <laughs> Mr. Corporate was my father. You can call <laughs> me Douglas Corporate. Mm-hmm. Douglas Corporate, sir. Uh, I just want to say I think I just... said my last name was different in the earlier scene, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Totally no, you know what? It was it was a grandfather. There's been a name change or a marriage i don't know there was a lady somewhere in the line whatever she married i married into corporate it's no secret everyone knows i'm fine with it i burned it nepotism is real it gets your foot in the door but once you're in the door you have to do the thing Mm -hmm. i'm sorry Mm -hmm. go ahead i'm talking oh totally fine totally fine sir i just want to say just how enlightening it is to have you here today and i must say uh, if i could share my ideas with you I've had some uh, some uh, some thoughts about how we can boost our social media presence for the franchises in town. I love it, Tanya. In fact, legally, by the terms of your employment contract with us, we already own those ideas. So why don't you tell me what I've bought? Perfect. Sir, look, I just think that we could maximize presence of the frying business all over town if we added another franchise here and then connected those to the app and connected uh, service to that. So like if the frying is too low, the customers could crank up the heat of the fryer. They could crank up the sauce speed on the sauce wheel. You know, all these things I feel like would maximize satisfaction. So let me let me make sure that I'm tracking your vision properly. A mobile, not quite a food cart, a little bit like an ice cream truck but it's frying things in real time for customers who demand what to be fried, how much to fry it while it's being delivered to their doorstep and also sauces. That's right, sir. I have only one question for you. And that is where are you going to keep all of this goddamn money we're going to make? Sir, I'm sure you own a vault or two that uh, we could keep it safe. I lease and I rent to own, but yes, thank you. Very important. Uh, all right. So, yep, that feels like that's great. it. That's it. Yeah. That's. Uh, I feel like that scene ended very well for Tanya. Yeah, she's gonna get that startup money. Yeah, oh my God, some of the believe. Oh my God, energy. somebody has to be a VC person next. Uh, okay. the act break. We have to have venture capital in. How we're gonna blow this up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, imagine a worse idea than a Bluetooth fryer. Oh, I think I can. Uh, okay, so it's a positive for you. I'm sorry. And how do you think that last scene went for Shelly uh, with uh, corporate? We actually forgot to. I thought it went, well, Shelly thinks it went great, but uh, she thinks everything goes great. Uh, 
I yeah, it's, it, it, it seemed like Shelly, in her kind of eagerness to jump on the grenade and take responsibility for everything, ended up taking responsibility for everything. Mm-hmm. Like, I pulled the pin from the grenade and threw it in the middle of the thing, and then I jumped on it heroically. Like, I think it's sort of, again, I think, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a scene where you would yeah, yeah. be convinced it went great, and everyone else is like, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I feel like, yeah, so we got to pause this. Week. Okay. Well, you know, once uh, one time a boss told me that the reward for a job well done is more work. <laughs> so, oh boy, that's so true. <laughs> yep. That, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. As a post office uh, postal worker friend of mine once, what was up with people going postal? And he just went, "It never ends." <laughs> and it, it was the. Like he knew it immediately. He understood why it was happening. He understood the like. He just like it, it, you can have the best day of your life, and tomorrow it starts all over again. Like he, that was the the Sisyphusian despair of the postal worker. There you go. Oof. Thank you. Boy. Well, uh, <laughs> moving <Yeah>. on. No. <laughs> anyway, no, no. I, One day we'll all be no, dead. What? Yeah. yeah, you know what? Yeah, we all we all live lives. We all work hard jobs. Uh, don't forget to tip your server, but also find out what your mail person, who is your regular mail person, likes to uh, drink or eat and leave them a little gift, too. Mine yeah. doesn't like to get out of the truck. There you go. All right. So like a grabber type thing. OK. A little raptor face one, maybe. Or uh, yeah. 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 Um, OK. <laughs> uh, Just um, frisbee mail. Yeah. 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 Uh, I so literally it, just gave them my phone number. I'm like, you know what? If you ever have a package, just give me a call. I'll come get it. Ooh. Just literally, yeah. It was because one day it was like, I don't know. Every time I got to get out of this truck to drop off a package, I can't walk for 20 minutes. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like, yeah, no, it's a horrible. Yeah, that's bad. Call me. I can't tell if, if this is Matt as the boat guy with a really long driveway or just a slow walker, <laughs> post, postal worker. So. <laughs> no, it was a uh, it, it like just a like I don't I don't know it was a thing it was like a there's clearly static here there's some beef and I'm trying to figure out what it is and I was like how can I help and yeah and, yeah and, and, and they're like that. yeah every time I get out of every time I have to get out of the truck I can't walk for twenty minutes like well yeah no call, call me I'll call I'll me. come get it. I'll come yeah. help let's make it happen all right so we have two more scenes left in this act uh, one is going to be for Gray and one is going to be for Tilly Ray. I have a scene I know I'd like to do, but Gray, if you would like to go first, you are welcome. Because you have you have had a rough first day. Yeah, I don't. You know, I also I feel like, uh, and it might just be my own thing. Like I feel like I've talked a lot. Could we could we fold it, Gray? And the corporate dude was kind of with that, or was I don't know. I don't. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, that's fine. Uh, we we don't always get through all the scenes on the show anyway because. Okay. Uh, we well, let me skip. Let's, let, let me skip. Let's, let's at least do one before this. And I'm, I'm going to try and shut the hell up so okay. other people can do stuff. <laughs> I think you're fine. But I think uh, I would like, uh, if it's okay, I would like Tanya to be in the scene with Tilly Ray. And I think Tilly Ray would like to be crying by her locker. I'm assuming there's some little break room in the back that looks like, oh, it's probably got like a weird dressing room theme. From the circus too. I so there's I one hundred percent painted it like a like pediatrician's office with just like happy happy clowns all over the wall. Mm-hmm. There's like places to put your hands uh, so you can like ground yourself and read inspirational quotes and stuff. Like it's very <laughs> weird. Um, yeah. So uh, you actually see uh, Tilly like crying uh, with her hands accidentally uh, on the wall right by like. Uh, like uh you lose 100 percent of the shots you don't take or something you know like uh yeah uh nope. tanya <laughs> I can't i just can't beat her um, <laughs> um <clears throat> are, are you okay um i'm fine i'm fine tanya um i mean you don't look fine and i mean shell is still out there so what's going on um, first of all, F you, I look great. <laughs> like makeup streaming down her face. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. No, no, no. Yep. Uh, grease, the gre- grease paint. Grease paint. Oh, God. Streaks. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's grease paint. So there's like white. It's like the red. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it's now like mixing in with her uh, chemise and polka dot straight or polka dot spotted vest. I assume there's like awkward dots right over the breasts too for some yeah, reason because absolutely. these are made weird. Um, and uh, uh, you know what? Uh, a clown, a rainbow clown hair wig. She was trying to like up her game after she didn't get the, yeah. She was like, yeah. Um, I just, I, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't beat you fair and square. And I can't beat you by cheating. Tanya, how do, how can I be better? How can I be like you? Oh, I mean, I'm flattered that you want to be like me. But like, what? What? Like, are you, are you trying to beat me? Like, like at what? Like, at life? Like, we don't even know each other af- out of here. Not, not at life. At, at, like, at, at this, at being the manager. I mean, I worked so hard do you know do you know who was employee of the month all the months before you started me for that one week before you started it was always me (laughs) got it and like you can still be employee of the month you know the managers aren't in the run for employee of the month right i mean i i want to be employed but i I wanted to i wanted to be where you are i wanted to have the power i wanted to i I feel like i'm just like a a a sh- shift manager uh so it's like i'm doing a lot of the hard work and scheduling people but i don't i don't get i you know i just want to wear the straps okay i hate this polka dot mess okay mm-hmm. yeah it, it's not flattering to anybody so i will i don't blame you my mom says it doesn't look good with my complexion with or without the grease paint you know mm-hmm. and i can't take any more guff from her she's the rudest person alive so like what do i what do you want what can i ha- what can i do to get you out of this role and I look around, like over my back, like the break room doors loose. Like, listen, Tilly Ray, listen to me. Come, come closer. Okay, okay. I'm um, I'm thinking of going like my own way anyway. Like, I try to get in with corporate today. So, like, but like, listen, let's keep it between you and me, right? You remember when we trained together, flipping those potato tater tots? Mm-hmm. potato tots you know you remember the tater tater tots, potato tots yeah potato tots yeah uh-huh and um you know i feel like you and i have never seen eye to eye it's probably because i'm a little taller than you but like is that a, is that a potato joke no okay but like listen once i'm out of here you can have the manager job i can even recommend it to shelly i'll tell her like you can have it okay i'll help you i'll help you get your own franchise yeah absolutely um, yeah. okay what do you is there something missing from your portfolio like do you need like a lot of uh good reviews or something talking about how good you are at your oh. job I mean I love that when people do that just in general so that always helps me like psych myself up but what we really need now is like the locale and like the monies and I'm hoping that Mr. Corporate can help me with that, but, um, you know, just like, again, keep it on the down low, all right? Like, I don't want to frazzle Shelly's feathers or anything. I don't want her to feel like I'm, like, leaving the family. Like, I just want to start my own family, you know? I get it. And <laughs> they both they both turn to the screen and say, like, it's about family. Mm-hmm. Like, scene. Okay, <laughs> great. Okay. Um, <laughs> different. All right, perfect. Uh, cool. Um, how do we think that went for Tilly Ray? I mean, I think that went super positively, like whether you want to help Tanya with her, with her goals, or you just want to dirt on Tanya, you kind of have mm-hmm. both options open to you now. Absolutely. All right. Uh, Matt, would you like to have a, a one more scene with Gray before we uh, hit our little tilt? Yeah, I, it kind of doesn't, yeah, I'm sort of retroactively trying to make sense of it's more fun to play the corporate guy uh, than you know, Gray. Gray. I'm not going to lie. We've had people shift to other characters. Oh, no, not so much that. I was trying to figure out, like, uh, you know, like undercover boss. Mm-hmm. Like, but, but, it, but it sort of doesn't quite do track you, with everything Do you think else. maybe uh, corporate is actually, like, uh, the brother of Gray or the nephew? Like, they're related somehow? No, let me, let me, let me, we'll go, I'll, we'll make great work. I'll, I'll make, I'll make, uh, I'll figure something out. Um, um, cause we really need to figure out who's going to get murdered in the next act. And I think it's great. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Let's see. Tilly Ray is going to help Tanya. All right. Um, so let's do let's do Gray and Tanya, and um, you know we're setting up. You're going to have a need. We're going to have a need in the site after the tilt. We need some capital for you to realize your dream. And like gray, it's after the it's after our first day, right? Woo, boy, what a day! What a day, what a what a crazy <laughs> ass day! Woo. Sunrise, uh, sunset over the tent. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and it's and it's it, it, it's funny, you know, because I I worked as a as as an investment banker for years. I don't I don't even need the money. I have oh, really millions of dollars uh, uh, saved up over a, over a lifetime. I just did this to get out of the house. And uh, and to to meet people, uh, uh, yeah, mm, yeah. I guess that's all I got. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, tired. no, that's yeah. great. That's great. Um, uh, I mean, do you like it so far? Did you like Did you like your shift? I know it was it was a little rough, but it only it only goes up from there. Well, you know, uh, those people were were were, were really rude, uh, and I I really burned my hand pretty bad uh um um but uh i'm, I'm learning my way around to go see it there was at that time where i put the reaper sauce uh, i thought the reaper sauce was a purell and it, it wasn't and then i put the reaper sauce on my hands and then my hands hurt really bad because they burned the hands but then when i when then i had to go to the bathroom and then i then my burned hands with the reaper sauce and i yeah it was a whole thing and there wasn't any soap in the bathroom so i had to wash my hands with French dressing and that's, I got the smell of French dressing everywhere. And it's uh, not going to uh, go anywhere. <laughs> it's, it, it stays haunts, with you. It's going to haunt your dreams. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, yeah. You know, but I didn't, I didn't, I'm not going to be the best fry guy on day one. I know that I'm just happy to, you know, get out and, 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 and meet people and not sit at home alone, uh, uh, counting, <laughs> whiling away the hours until the sweet embrace of death frees me. Uh, what else am I going to do with all this time and l- lack of need for money? Yeah, no, I mean, that's totally fine. I used to be into boats and cocaine. No, no, no. I just no. like I hanging out like, with youngsters. Way better idea than that, Gray. And, like, Tanya will put her, her like, arm around Gray, like, shoulder, and be like, Gray, listen, like, you just started here, but, like, I feel like you've got, like, a good a, a good head on your shoulders like you see our vibe right we do see the family vibe like obviously we all care about this place but like if you want to make big splash here like if you really want to be part of the family made quite enough splashes today i'll be quite honest but i understand the metaphor is just a metaphor keep going yeah yeah exactly so stay with me like i presented some ideas to corporate today and i need I need a money guy on my side. I don't know. I don't know if you know, like I come from a poor family and like, you know, they were able to send me to college to go to cosmetology school. But like that wasn't really my calling, even though like I can pull off this clown makeup like in nobody's business every day. Clown's mythology, right. Yeah. So, but I, but I feel like, I feel like I, I, I connected with you today in some way. And now maybe you can help me. What do you think? Well, it's like I said, I didn't come here to make good friends. I came here to make great friends. And what brings people together better than investment opportunities? Exactly. Gray, you, you, you get it. You get it. And scene. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. They what shake could hands, possibly go right? Signs. Yeah. Money signs everywhere. All right. Uh, how do we think that went for Gray? Oh, real bad. <laughs> you don't think? You don't think? The- I think I, I know a game we're playing. I think Gray has just put a big target on his chest or forehead or yeah, no, no. Gray's listen. If Gray doesn't end up dunked in that deep fryer at the end of the second act, like we've done something wrong. Mm-hmm. I don't know all how right, we could do it. Right. But, uh, but I, I think I think again, one of those things Gray would think it sounds great. Anybody understanding the story they're seeing? <laughs> so, yeah, well, that is very fair. Oh no, that is. All right. Um, so 
Uh, now is the moment where we pull out our positive and negative cards, lay them on the table, and basically whoever has the highest number for red or blue, um, that is the, uh, I'm sorry, oh my goodness, sorry, we, um, we actually count them. So let's see, Babs, Jody, actually all of you have a, a positive and a negative. Yep. Mm -hmm. So whichever one is the higher number, you will subtract then the lower number. So say you have a red five and a blue two, you end up with a red three as your total number. And then uh, which, whatever the, let's, let's figure out that math. I have two red, two blues. So I think I might, but we'll see. So if I have a blue five and a red four, then I actually have a blue one. Yes. You have a blue one. Okay. Uh, I have a uh, I have a, a negative one. Uh, blue one. I, I had a yeah or negative yeah or I had a ne- yeah I mean I had I'm a, sorry, a, a blue one. yeah a red one. Okay. And what about you, Barbara? I have a blue. Uh, no, a red two. Plus two. Red two. All right, yeah. and I have a blue. Oh seven. shit! Oh sorry. Sorry, Jody, I just pushed, I just tried to click a card to read it, and it says that I'm stealing it. I didn't mean to steal it. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought I could read everybody's cards. What's happening? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we can flip the cards, too. If, okay. you, uh, if you, excuse me, if you right-click, then you can flip. So, all right, so, okay, Barbara, you have the highest red, and I have the Yippee! highest blue so we're going to use your red and then one of my blues just like the matrix just just like the matrix um let's see all right Uh, actually we get to i'm sorry flip over all your cards if you don't mind girl i can do it for you Barbara, you, sorry, you get to pick the, the red you want, and I get to pick the blue I want out of all these. They're not going to okay. be good, by the way, which I'm sure you've figured out at this point. But we're going to and then we add these to our next round of scenes. All right. Let's see if I can. <laughs> well, we already had a. A grease fire. So let's see. <laughs> oh. Two people cross paths and everything changes. That already happened for the good. Yeah, possibly. That like did that one, yeah. Um, still the storm. This one survives against the odds. Mm-hmm. I think I like wrong person gets busted. All right. I think I'm going to do someone or something. Oops. Ooh, maybe All that's left in the burnt remains of the fry <laughs> restaurant is a golden nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna keep that one. All right. Um, also, uh, if you want, if you'd like to, if you need to, as I mentioned before, but if you need to take a bio break, like feel free to go at any time. Um, you don't have to work it into your scene, but because uh, we have. Uh, About 30 minutes left, so we're going to do another round of scenes, and then we will do the aftermath. Uh, One day we'll be able to get through all, uh, excuse me, we'll be able to get through all 16 scenes, but uh, we just love our role playing so much, so, okay. (laughs) A good problem to have, I'd say. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's not bad. So, all right. We'll be like to, does someone have a scene that they would like to set? Based on what we have before us, we we have a uh, we have a someone that we found out, uh, Gray, who is actually very well off, just coming in to make some new friends. Uh, good friends. Good friends. I wonder what happened to all the old friends. friends, though, huh? Like, hey, you could be sixty-five and not have any friends, huh? Um, suspicious. Uh, we have Tanya, who is going to make her own franchise, hopefully with his money or trying to impress him. Uh, we have Tilly Ray, who is going to help Tanya uh, with impressing whoever because she wants Tanya's job and is now trying the high road. And we have poor Shelly, who seems to be at the uh, getting like everything bad that could happen is happening to Shelly. So. But, you know, it doesn't matter because I got my family. That's true. Although I wonder how 
do you know about uh ooh, do you know about Tanya's secret desires though? Nope. Definitely mm-hmm. not. And and and, is, and Tanya's hiring Tilly Ray and Gray to leave. So the family is being hired away to go work mm-hmm. in this franchise truck. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It, it's all fine. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh Tony, do we want to go with a scene with you trying to impress? Uh, or do we want to... Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have the food truck. The food... Wait. It's not a food truck. What do we call it? A clown car? A sauce car? You saw a clown... A clown... clown tastrophe? A, a sure. sauce car. I know we're all trying to portman too, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. A clown. <laughs> yeah, sure. The clown truck. Right. Clown truck, clown. yeah. Okay. Um, uh, do you think you're shopping for a clown truck or something, too? Maybe, like, some could be that yeah uh, like maybe maybe i have like a i know where there's there's like a for sale lot of old uh food trucks that have sort of uh been defunct like the, the they're just failed food trucks oh god <laughs> jen is that a real dog behind you or is it just holding very holding very still or is it like a, a, a oh it is real okay all right uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this real pupper. my friend's dog yeah very sweet just wants to be a part just, of the scene. Yeah. Just like. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but you'll let me know if there's someone else behind me, right? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Okay, because no one else should be here. So <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> you get paid either way. That's all I'm gonna say. So. Um. Okay. Sorry. We don't. Have to, I well, mean, what, we about don't... This, what about this? What about this? What if? What if? What if it's? Uh, what if it's out back by the dumpster? So we. Yeah. So we, we get the location. Like, and what if it's? What if? What if an after hours like we're loading sauces up? And uh, maybe we're caught illicitly transferring sauces from the store to the truck. Mm, oh, we're trying to get the, we're trying to like get the. I mean, I mean, it wouldn't like it, it, this ultimately. Uh, uh, how, I guess how, like is how, how, how much is, is, is Tanya going to, going to go after a uh, 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 Jody camera, Shelly, right? Like, are you going to, not only am I going to franchise, I'm going to start my own franchise, but I'm going to hire people, but I'm going to steal all this shit from your franchise for my franchise, right? Maybe, maybe Gray has asked for a little market research. So she's trying to see what one day would be like with us. With exactly. Uh, okay. before, sure. Sure. I want to know. Yeah. Sure. What's franchise. a, what's a, yeah. What's a, what's a beta test that profits you know what's your what, how much money can you expect to make a day i'm gonna mm-hmm. put together profit and loss charts what's it gonna what's your operating costs versus mm-hmm. it just just investment stuff you know Normal stuff, real right? life we real world money. yeah yeah <laughs> you know how what is this little curve gonna go and what does it mean and how much is there to, okay so yeah so you're you're putting together a proof of concept uh yeah. demo mm-hmm. 